is time for another one of them videos. Well, I'm not going to talk about everything here, but I'm going to talk about a couple things. Okay. You can't go camping bushcrafting without a head torch. Can't do it. Can't do it. People say, oh no, but I'm a sleep drawer in the night time. What happens if you wake up and you take a shit? What are you going to do? Are you going to fucking go fall on your own shit or are you going to have a head torch and see where you go? Simple. Right now, ferro rod. Get yourself a ferro rod. They're brilliant. They last forever. This one doesn't look that old, but I promise you, this is... It has been sort of abused. On a little necklace there, so I don't lose it. It's always fucking losing it. Pocket bellow. Blow into the fire. Spot on. You can't... This is the best 10 grams or whatever it weighs you will, you will carry. That is, the, that is the most... The best... I don't know. Best weight to usefulness around when it comes to fire. Pocket bellow. Backo Lapland, they're pretty self explanatory. I beat this one, bent it. It's been. It has cut many pieces of wood. This is what I'm going to talk about here. Everyone always says to me about my knife. Why have you got that weird shaped knife? Oh, we're bushcrafters. So, Fiskers. Fiskers. Oh, it just says Fiskers stainless steel. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. Good blade, good bit of fucking steel, but it's got the chisel on the end. It's technically, it's not a knife, it's a carpenter's knife. So it's technically not a bushcrafter's knife, but I recommend people have a go with this. Because, like, taking out notches out of, like, branches and stuff is a lot easier with this compared to a normal knife. And you won't damage, you never got to worry about damage at the end because it's a fucking chisel. Brilliant, absolutely. Absolutely brilliant. 